What's going on, Skill Army? Mr. Skillman, back to you again. Hey, just figured I'd get something off on another little car ride. But, uh, please excuse us a little elsewhere, but, uh, sometimes, man, we gotta, we gotta understand that but every day you gotta be out here willing to do it. Like, you know, your rules, you know, you have to make adjustments in everything you do from it. Especially if, if your whole objective is to, you know, it's transactional, to get something out of it. You know, even information. You know, if you call, you know, some type of office administration or whatever, they're trying to, and you come with a bunch of, whole bunch of bullshit and you're trying to butter them the fuck up and all that kind of stuff. And, but when they try to come with you with some bullshit or butter your ass up, you take offense to it. You know, if you're the kind of person who, you know, gets mad over, what, how someone says something to you and not what they said to you, then you a motherfucking idiot. You know, like, uh, we gotta stop thinking that our, our, our grading stick scale is the only scale uh, by which we are, you know what I'm saying, selected on, chosen on, and graded on, like, shit. Like, it doesn't fucking work that way. You know, no one gives a fuck about Fake-ass sacrifice somewhere and you neglected to, you know, take the time to read the fine print of the contract before you just saw a number that thought could bail your diabolical nature out for a short amount of time, you know, and then you get mad that, you know, the same rules you signed off on that, you know, and it's just, you want to be an exception, you don't deserve an exception, you don't deserve anything, we don't deserve nothing, like, you got only thing you can expect to get is what you put in. You gotta really, 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 really break it down and just sift through all the fucking sugar-coated goddamn bullshit that even you might be bringing to the table. Like, no one gives a fuck about you, you being some kind of super mom, super saver, you know, no one cares about goddamn the fact that you, you know, you, you, you cause a bunch of, of your own stress and you know, motherfuckers want to use their own stress as like, you know, a form of currency to share with, you know, a why someone less stressed should, should, should bail them out of their, you know what I'm saying, consider them at being that they're, they self-sabotage themselves, uh, and daggone want them to, you know, they feel like they can wear that as a badge of honor or something. special favors by having bad behaviors like what the fuck these people don't know you no one knows you no one gives a fuck like, if you get emotionally bent off of uh, somebody tell you or how they tell you and, and, and all the all the the fucking signs are there and everything's pointing to you that you don't take in the effect the common denominator is you and all the shit that you're going through keep repeating itself but your ass is too dumb to, to, to switch positions to switch roles to, to to try to hey look look maybe my presentation was fucked up maybe I don't have I don't have uh, my ducks in a row maybe uh, you know I need to consider that I'm being uh, a little bit too emotional about it maybe uh, you know hey and, and if you're so fucking bad you're so Billy Badass, go ahead and, and, and say what you say you're going to do. Stop putting in the atmosphere how bad you are. You got a bitch on mute. You over, you over talking. And you asking all the questions that you're supposed to be asking a person. What, when they on mute, over talking and being an asshole. And then when they actually hear you going off halfway, masquerading, sending a bunch of emotional fucking mixed ass backdrop dumb shit to try to understand, try to move them emotionally. But what you're not recognizing is that they're in a position that they deal with emotional motherfuckers all day. Part of the requirements of their fucking job is being able to separate their emotions. And they're fucking telling you this. They are professionals. They run by a, a, a strict 
uh, guideline, there's rules. They, 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 even then, that's their job is to up to uphold the rules. Like, and, and you're not, you don't get nothing. Nothing is for free. Nothing is because you fucking felt like you fucking thought you were saving the world. You made a decision. And all them decisions that you made should be individualized. Were you expecting to, to receive compensation? People be expecting to motherfucking uh, receive something for something that they really ain't doing. No one told you to do this. No one told you to sell your car. No one told you to fucking, you know, quit your job. No one told you to motherfucking, uh, you know, go here or go there when you, whatever. You made that decision. You got to think that shit through. Make a, make a goddamn decision. You mad at everybody else for doing what? Nothing. Think about it. They're not doing nothing. And they're not doing nothing. Meaning that they're just not helping you. They're, doing nothing. they're literally not doing nothing. So, same outcome. They're not doing nothing. If they're not doing what you fucking expect, well, what are you going to do? You're not doing nothing either. You ain't doing shit. Talking shit. Running your fucking mouth. Acting all big and fucking bad. Ain't going to do shit. Make the hard decision. If it's that bad, if you that bad about it, shit. It's your life. display of just the lack of real responsibility, you know, the, the, the lack of actually, motherfuckers like be masquerading like they really, you know, carrying a pistol on your hip with no bullets in the motherfucker. Everything that got people looking at it, looking like Dirty Harry and shit, it ain't dirty at all, it ain't hairy at all. Motherfucker get scared at a, at, at a motherfucking cabinet door shut. Shit. Motherfucking got that butterfly land on your, your damn shoulder and you get the tap dancing and running around. Motherfuckers get shelled. And all that they like to expose to the world around them. You know, everything's all hunky door. They like to run like they actually making moves and, and they grooving like this and grooving like that. Get them in the motherfucking trenches and motherfuckers get to nothing up and acting ridiculous, man. Fucking stupid. Emotional shit. Can't let go. All the answers they telling themselves they the, the, the answers. They telling themselves the answers. It's all kinds of saying, point in this direction, do this, do this. Even then, I don't see how you know the people that they so-called even want to idolize or model after or have a be a you know have you know have an example of or whatever. Like they get, they can get the, the cheat code, they can get the blueprint, and motherfuckers just want to do it. I want to be like them, but I don't want to do the things they did. I like to have a, a, not even, I like to have a car like that, but I don't want to do the things I got, you know, got hit that car. Okay, uh, better yet, I don't want to have the peace of mind that they, I want to have the peace of mind that they got, but I don't want to do put the things in place that, to uh, create that peace of mind. I want to have the financial freedom that they got, but I refuse to do the things to put in place uh, that gave them that financial freedom, that spiritual freedom, that emotional freedom. Shit, I know some of them decisions may be hard than a motherfucker, but they're only hard because you emotional as fuck. You don't value yourself enough. You don't evaluate yourself enough. You gotta be, you gotta, man, especially if you fucking middle age, like, man, like, you gotta start being brutally honest with yourself. The reason that it's so hard for you to understand when someone else is being very brutally honest with you and they speaking out of, out of true love, like, they really telling you some OG, they don't have no, they don't want nothing from you, they gonna tell you what's good, like, since your ass you don't like to look at the fucking man, they basically telling you, like, look, uh, I know it sucks, but, uh, you gotta make some changes. You got to be brutally honest with your mother and self. Sometimes you got to hit yourself with a fine tooth comb. Got to. Hit yourself with the fine tooth comb. Be honest. You can't expect to get anything good out when you deliver bullshit all the time. Lying ass. Faking ass. What the fuck? 
motherfuckers will lie and carry on just to be, just to be what? To get, chase your goddamn tail and get no results. You stress the fuck out. Shit. Wanna be, thinking they get money, they ain't never dead. Don't know how to handle no money. Don't know how to handle no relationships. Don't know how to handle their emotions. Don't know how to handle their fucking finances. Thinking they handle their children, but they really ain't. Serving you a motherfucking dish cold as fuck. Motherfuckers will sell you. Hey, I got this associate. I got this friend. I got this fucking stupid ass buddy. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to do a segment on this buddy shit. All right. Motherfuckers, it, 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 especially if you gotta be a bitch. You come around talking about church, you got a bunch of male fucking buddies. You know who you sound like? You just sound like a fucking buddy. You sound like a dude, like a motherfucker. That is one of the, the biggest fucking exposés of masculinity that a bitch can, can put out and present is when that fucking bitch sit here and actually tell your ass that she got buddies. Like I got this sounding just like a motherfucking dude. This is my buddy, my buddy, uh, my buddy's got a side by side. My, my buddy, my buddy's got a, a truck like that. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, uh, my buddy over here, this man, what the fuck? I ain't got no buddies. I don't do buds, man. Buddies fucking this, buddies and that shit. You don't know them motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck about you. That ain't your buddy. You just trying to serve me up that dumb shit so, cause I, so I can go ahead and give you a north and south head nod nah, slide onto your stupid ass. Uh, uh, uh. No, no stability having emotional decision of why you trying to sell me on, on, on the idea that, that why you put, why you why you interact with this motherfucking buddy. Why we go way back, you know, I know I never known who for 15 years, bitch. Y'all you mean to tell me you were stagnant for 15 fucking years? I am fine with releasing the idea that I got I got people that I knew back in the day, new, keyword new. But right now I I, I would understand that they, they may have matured or done so they're totally different fucking people. I'm different. I'm the same, same me to a degree, but I, I have progressed. I, like friendship, like we have no friendship type transactions, so to say. We haven't had any dealings. We ain't went fishing. We ain't met. We ain't brought the kids together. We might still. So at this point, we're not buds or friends no more. We we kind of social acquaintance. Maybe if we can actually set something up, get back together, we can rekindle our so-called budship, friendship, whatever the fuck ship. But at the same time, who's got time for that? Because if they're out there grinding and our roads ain't meshing because we're still striving to be uh, the best people are of ourselves overall, then and, and our past are over here. If, if I'm getting to the money and you ain't, then we probably ain't going to be. We, how we buddies? If, we, if I'm getting to the money, you ain't. How, if, if, if I'm getting to the peace of mind and you ain't, how we buddies? If, if I'm getting to the best version of myself and you still letting your wife fuck you in the ass, how we buddies? If I ain't, if I don't, if I ain't, you ain't checked in. I don't know any kind of current news or anything going with you. You don't confide. We don't, we don't share tools and shit like that, bitch. How the fuck we buddies? You came across some kind of cool opportunity, not even just financially, but like I said, motherfucker. Hey, you know what? The the play is peace of mind, baby. The play is getting to a point of, of having motherfucking no stress. The play is getting to a motherfucking point where you can control, you know. Uh, more, more, more pieces of your fucking life. The play is being able to, to, to see the big picture and know that the steps that you are taking will eventually get you to the motherfucking big picture. The play is not telling everybody your motherfucking business and selling your motherfucking soul to the devil for the sake of a quick dollar that you haven't even trained yourself on how to motherfucking use. You haven't trained yourself on how to even keep money, spend money, save money, invest money, share money, make money. You haven't done none of that. You just going off a fucking hope and a prayer. And that hope and prayer is not supported by your your hard works, your efforts, your your tangible motherfucking uh, 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 assets. It's not it's not graded by your your healthy fucking relationships. It, you trying to sell it uh, on a dream just off a of fucking humbug on a what if. But but don't understand. Put all your eggs in one basket. Yo, what if? God damn it, you ain't paid no fucking dues. You really ain't did shit. None of your shit was tangible. All your shit was emotional. All your shit was compromised. You you wasn't big picture nothing. You was in the moment with every fucking thing. You was in the moment with every fucking thing. 
you'd rather fucking lose a whole arm than to cut your fucking pinky off. And that motherfucking pinky been greened in the sun, bitch, for a long ass time. Even then, when all the signs was really telling when your ass wasn't tapped in and ignoring all the motherfucking help that God was sending you and all this kind of shit, by the time it gets to a point where all that shit ain't working, it meddles down, like I said, to the common denominator, and you don't even want to figure, you don't want to understand it. You the motherfucking problem. Anyway. Shit crazy, man. But like I said, over here, skill me post, skill army. You trying to be better, man. Like I said, hey, better. You just trying to be healthy, man. I'm just trying to be healthy, dog. All around. All the motherfucking around. Shit crazy. Hey, motherfuckers don't understand. Hey, hey. Motherfuckers out here dying slow, dog. Dying fucking slow. You can say, oh, you know, no, nothing's promised. Man, what the fuck ever. Assume you're going to be here a while. Assume, you know, Lord willing, you, and you have a purpose and a mission, and you got motherfucking shit that you really being responsible for. Assume you're going to be here for a while. Don't assume that, that, don't assume that your sorry ass bitch, you just going to weather the storm and let her pass away or let her decide to leave your ass on her. It's not happening. You got to put it into action. Don't 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 let the don't let the bills stack up. You know what I'm saying? And then when you the money that you do get in, you just go play uh pay for an emotional good time, some dopamine. Motherfuckers be out here be addicts and goddamn don't understand what they paying for is the dopamine. You rather hop on TikTok, put the hours on TikTok, but motherfucker a pass you a motherfucking book and goddamn it and tell you on page 10 on chapter motherfucking three that that might be a solution to, to half your motherfucking problems if you could just understand that perspective. But now nah, you good, you rather fucking jump on goddamn TikTok and get a bunch of fake ass frosty goddamn likes and, and call yourself a guy. You got a ghost follower, bitch. You ain't got no follower. That ain't a ghost follower. Hey, call one of your motherfucking followers and ask them to help you with that motherfucking help you with them bibs. Ask one of them. Hey, let me let me let me I mean, um, let me let me rephrase that. Call one of them goddamn followers and, and tell them to invest in your business. Where your business at? Huh? What kind of boss are you again? A boss of what? Emotional fucking financial goddamn spiritual goddamn physical fucking turmoil? Confrontational fucking relationships and looking over your shoulder meanwhile you you coward in a son bitch. Cowardice comes from not knowing. Cowardice comes from being a, 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 a ignorant fucking fool. Cowardice comes in the, in the presence of knowing that when you, when you talk that shit you didn't walk that fucking walk. But you'll call a nigga like me arrogant. You'll call a player like me arrogant. You'll call you call an OG like me arrogant. You call an OG. You, you, you tell me I don't know shit. You tell me my shit, my shit don't stink. I'm fucked up by it. But I'm not. Hey, I'm sorry. Walking the walk does come with its motherfucking uh, perks. But everybody want to make that walk, man. So. Until next time.